Hey, Paul, do you know what somebody should try doing one of these days? Uh, I have several ideas, but probably not what you're thinking. What? Probably not. I was thinking that they could probably improve Police Quest if they took out the driving sections and replaced it with Grand Theft Auto. Oh, cool. But since we've already talked about Police Quest before, I guess today we're going to talk about Grand Theft Auto. Buckle in, because we're going to do murders. Yeah. All right, so uh, Grand Theft Auto, that came out, I think, like, 97 or 98. 97, I think? Yeah, right, whenever that Austin Powers computer font was really popular, that era. Oh, okay, that narrowed it down. That was far more clear than the year Grand Theft Auto came out. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you play it when it just came out? How old were you when you were playing this one? Yeah, I played it when it, f I th yeah, when it first came out. Um, I used to come home from school and play it with my mate obsessively for for like half half a year or so. Okay, cool. Because I remember playing it, as is the story with a lot of these games. I played it a little bit before I ever actually owned it, so uh, my exposure to it was minimal. But I did actually play it when it came out, and uh, and yeah, I mean, it was it it was really good. Like it was um, it was. <laughs> You don't see very many games like this. This was kind of a natural step up from a game like Syndicate, where you were finally kind of able to give like this really open, interactive world, but then some. So in the case of like Syndicate, where it's a sort of uh, you have these little missions you got to do, uh, but you also have the option of killing every civilian that you see fit just because if you really want to. And Grand Theft Auto, that was kind of the game. That was kind of like, here, go here, and you, if you don't kill any more than these number of people, you don't get to proceed. Yeah, with, without a little bit of like a twisted mind that we all do have, pretty much it's basically just a driving simulator that's really frustrating. So yeah, it's an, uh, really one of them games that makes you look yourself in the mirror and be like, why do I enjoy this? There's something got to be wrong with me. <laughs> it's so good. It's so much fun. And if the first game is like, you know we were kind of discussing uh before we came on uh, about this game it's almost like i feel like it's the game that people forgot that they forgot about mm -hmm. it's it's like you know to, to really resurrect the, the grand theft auto one and for those who haven't played it just listening it's it's a completely top-down view um appropriately kind of in the style of like a police chase you know almost like helicopter view looking down at, at but basically police chases a lot of them <laughs> um so it's a lot different than than grand theft auto i think was two three is when they three. went into the third person that's right they had that weird like british sequel or something right um it was a, i don't grand know theft auto london maybe oh maybe there was one of those two i think there was like i think grand theft auto 2 properly was um in the future with like more sci-fi stuff but yeah. or or am i thinking of something else i i do recall there being like a uk or a london or something like that I I don't remember. I just I honestly only played Grand Theft Auto One before going into Grand Theft Auto Three. Well, this is getting dangerously close to sounding that like we don't know what we're talking about. So I'll push us forward <laughs> to, to maintain the illusion. We're here to talk about Grand Theft Auto One. Yeah, exactly. So That's the point. That's all we were told to research. I'm, I think I brought us down this rabbit hole. I'm sorry. It's um, all good. It's all good. Because we're talking about Grand Theft Auto 1, because that is Grand Theft Auto 1, as you could probably tell, was the first of the Grand Theft Auto. So there's never really, um, you know, that first experience again. Playing Grand Theft Auto 1 was just, uh, uh, it was, it's a game where everything that you think that the game won't let you do, it lets you do. So I remember like just how thrilling it was that first time when uh you know I'd watch my friend play it basically and he'd have his little laptop at the school cafeteria and everyone would be huddled around him uh watching him play and uh that first time that he uh I guess he got out of his car so a police officer got on foot and chased after him and he like deked him out and then stole the police officer's car, ran him over with it, and drove off. It's just like, I can't believe that the game just let us do that. But it was amazing. It was like cathartic. It was just like this, oh my god, I can't believe we actually did that. And it's, it's so cool. It's so awesome. Because games rarely 
Uh, it's like they never did, but they rarely let you be such an evil character if you wanted to be one. Yes, ex- and especially in such a real world setting. You know, there's no mask of like, oh, well, this is the ancient times or in the future with space, we're mindlessly killing enemies. This was like real shit. It was like yeah. real life, real, you know, policemen. <laughs> so, yeah. It was, it was kind of, I, I was retrospectively, it's probably several years ahead of its time. Like, like a lot ahead of its time. It was like well, probably, really yeah. wrong way before anything else was that wrong in a great way. <laughs> no, I totally get it. It's funny too because you play Grand Theft Auto 3 and onwards and it's got like characters and story and all that sort of thing. Like there's actually like a plot, there's a storyline. Uh there's you, know, you your character has a personality. Uh everyone around you there's like key figures and characters and subplots and all that sort of thing. And if you were to just start from Grand Theft Auto Free, it's just kind of like, um, it would be kind of a little bit weird that it's named Grand Theft Auto Free when there's just so much more to it than just stealing cars. Grand Theft Auto One is very aptly named. It's about stealing cars, pretty much. <laughs> like that's what you do. They, there, there's not really a story or a plot very much more so than you take, uh, you go to phone booths to accept missions, to blow shit up. Like, yeah, that's it, the game. <laughs> you steal cars, you kill people, you blow shit up, and then you get points for it, and if you get enough points, you go blow bigger shit up. Yes, yeah, no, you're, you're exactly right. It's, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of course, factually speaking included, but yeah, it's, it's strange in the sense that it was, I mean, uh, I was trying to think, I guess, like, almost the difference in story and plot, but, but like... There's there's a narrative, like you said, you get you're told what to do, and good job, you've done that thing. But mm-hmm. that's it. There, there isn't like a story, like you're so and so, and you're trying to get into the mob. It's just you know, go blow up the mayor with this truck. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like when I played Grand Theft Auto Three, I I haven't actually finished a Grand Theft Auto game because all I do is sandbox. All I do is steal mm-hmm. cars, drive around, blow shit up. Right. Right. So th- that's the stuff I do instead of actually playing the game. At Grand Theft Auto 1, that was the game. Like, the game was all the stuff that you would normally ignore the game in order to do. That was actually the main game. Right, yes. And and it's funny because it, it didn't need much more. And I think, you know, I stopped liking it. I think the same time you did, like, the last, last one would have been, like... Um, Vice City for me, yeah. Um, but because after that, I I felt that they got really story heavy, and and kind of forgot. Like not that you couldn't do the sandbox thing, but I'm not sure. Just the the kind of free spirited vibe about the game started to go away for me. At the the end of the day, like you said, I never actually finished even Vice City. None of the games because you know the 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 act of traveling was too much fun. You know, uh, (laughs) unlike you know Red Dead Redemption, where it's like I don't want to walk around on a horse. That's not like that. You know, tantalizing to me to, <laughs> to just get sidetracked and just walk on a horse for hours but this game was so much fun when you're not doing the missions the missions were kind of like naggy like like a mom telling you to do your homework or something mm-hmm. uh, and I agree Vice City was like the last uh, Grand Theft Auto that I truly enjoyed and I think I would put it as the the spirit for me having played Grand Theft Auto 1 and then 3 and then Vice City so those are like the three major Grand Theft Auto experiences for me uh, what made me love the game so much was that they didn't take themselves seriously. Right. Starting from San Andreas onwards, I felt it was starting to take itself seriously, like too much. Uh, and there's still like a little tug in cheek here and there, but it just got like bleak and grim and, you know, people are assholes and not even in like the fun way. And they're trying to be all kind of, bit more realistic kind of thing i was like well that's not why i really want to play this and you know uh you know what was it san andreas i don't know how much this is incorporated into the other games because i only played uh four and five like once a piece uh grand theft auto san andreas i played a little bit longer before i realized that the entire thing was just seriously going about my day in a video game. So it's like, oh, you've got to hit the gym now. i got to go get some food. i got to go run some errands and maybe kill a few people, do a few murders. But uh, on you know, on the way to shopping for groceries or something like that, it's like, okay, I get what you're trying to do. But that's not why I play Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, you, 
all the words you said is I'd like to make as mine as well. It's, <laughs> I, I, I was kind of trying to describe it by saying like the, the mission became too mission heavy, and, and that's not really what it was at all. Because there's plenty of them in, in Vice City, etc. It's more like the missions, like you said, are kind of just bleak or, or boring or, or t- too much emphasis on them. But but you said it best when you said it kind of wasn't as playful anymore. Yeah, you got, like you got just, playful yeah. is definitely a very good word for it too. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's funny too. I'm thinking that the first game having so little story as to what the series would evolve into, the first game could actually probably pass as like an arcade game, couldn't it? In a I, sense. I'd say like, so. I could say so, yeah. I, I would mission- definitely be losing a lot of quarters on that one. Yeah, true. Because and it's, it's really it, hard. It's very like single serving. Like here, there's a, a, a truck you got to pick up there. There's bombs in it. Drive it here where the mayor is, get in the, the car we have ready for you and, you know, don't get caught. That could be like one arcade mission. Yeah. Um, so I guess what I'm trying to say is it was, it was a pretty thin game. Like there wasn't a whole lot of depth to it, but the missions were so fun, especially, you know, again, as every topic on this podcast probably is because of the time it came out, you know, there was nothing even near as close to that level of anarchy and whatever. So it, was, it didn't get really old for a long time. I was thinking about this um, just before we came on to record because I sort of, I kind of pinned down sort of something of my personal feeling about modern Grand Theft Auto games. And this is completely factually incorrect. It doesn't really make a lot of sense, but uh, it's just as from a personal standpoint, this is sort of how I would describe it. See, um, Grand Theft Auto 1, Free and Vice City, of course, those are the ones that I absolutely loved and they're fun and playful. And you, you play a game like Red Dead Redemption. And how do you describe Red Dead Redemption to somebody? You say it's basically Grand Theft Auto, but with cowboys. Uh, but then... Starting from like Grand Theft Auto, probably about four and five, I would, when I play those, I feel more like I'm playing Red Dead Redemption, but with cars. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that's a great way to put it, though. You're right. You're, cause, and it, cause it, it works in that, you know, stoic cowboy, you know, melancholy sort of uh, environment and story. You know, that the, the way they were writing for the, the last two games, as you, as you said, they, they were probably like it was a really smart move to switch their whole emphasis on the Red Dead because. The whole point, like Vice City itself, was such a, you know, um, parody almost on, on the yeah. 80s. You know, they took it so far as to have fun with it, which was great. You know, with the, the neon and, and the uh, the white, you know, whatever that Tom Selleck guy's name is. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Help me out here. Um, <laughs> uh, it was whatever. <laughs> <laughs> You're on your guy. own. Yeah, fuck all. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, now I can't stop picturing different guys with big mustaches. This is horrible. <laughs> Ron Swanson. Um, <laughs> there you go. We'll go with him. We'll go with him. Yeah. <laughs> We're good. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I mean, I find that, um, you know, Red Dead Redemption is sort of the game that should be taking itself a bit more seriously. You can't really play, you can't really make Red Dead Redemption as like this goofball self parody kind of thing um, to have the same effect. And even though Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and onwards, you know, I think most of those came before uh, Red Dead Redemption, but they they kind of feel like I'm playing Red Dead Redemption, but in a modern <laughs> environment, you know, it just I know that doesn't make sense, but it's just kind of that's the feeling of it. They, they, they kind of go more like, oh, we, we have to be serious now and, uh, you know, how er- everything has to be less fun, be, but more real. I find that Rockstar just in general has been really focused on nailing the realism that they forgot to nail the fun part. Right. And yes. that's how that's how uh, Saints Row kind of differ- differentiates itself. Because I think when I played Saints Row 2, um, quite a few years after it came out, that was the game that really captured how I felt when I was playing Vice City again. And two was, so two was great. Three was fantastic. Four was also really good. And it was all because they just sort of they just didn't take themselves quite as seriously. They they were like the parodies again that I remember Grand Theft Auto, um, especially Grand Theft Auto Vice City, uh, Grand Theft Auto Free just sort of had that sort of, uh, like you said, playfulness to it. You know, you you drive into a crowd of people and you see them like ragdoll everywhere. And then you get out of the car with a baseball bat and start beating their corpse and they start like flailing around on the ground. And it's just like, um, I, I'm totally not psycho, but um, in case you're wondering, <laughs> but you know, it, they're just, there's this like f- playfulness in the presentation of it that kind of masks how horrific 
everything you're doing is. And even though there is sort of like a little bit of an exaggeration, um, exaggerated presentation in later Grand Theft Auto games, it kind of really it became so real that I am starting to think like, hey, this is horrible stuff and I'm a terrible person. <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, and yeah, and that's one of the things that was really started in Grand Theft Auto 1 was just the, here's just like a crowd of people and I want to drive through them and kill them all and they kind of make it fun to do that and, and enjoyable in a very psychotic, sociopathic <laughs> way. But it's like, oh, here's all the points you get and some money for running over these innocent bystanders just because you're an asshole. Good for you. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's, I think you're really hitting on a breakthrough point is these games get harder to enjoy the better graphics get. <laughs> yeah. So back, back in Grand Theft Auto, one days it was fine. Just the better they get, the more real it gets, the more you're like, actually questioning, like, this is kind of dark now. <laughs> I was having fun and... I can't really explain on paper what's changed, but things changed. Yeah, um, so yeah. They, so they were smart to move to to Red Dead for sure, because you can excuse that once again just because of the the time. Like you know, mm -hmm. eat or be eaten, Wild West shit. Like it's like, of course I killed. You know, I often they only live till like twenty seven these days. Yeah, so. and and you watch like um, you watch like spaghetti westerns and stuff like that, right? And that's usually you know how people first really get into cowboys. But you watch like. Um, the spaghetti westerns, even some like the John Wayne movies, uh, you know, Tombstone, Unforgiven, like the Clint Eastwoods and stuff like that. And it's like, generally speaking, you're probably not going to want to go into a game like Red Dead Redemption thinking, I want a quirky, whimsical, <laughs> like, um, silly <laughs> game for which I can live my cowboy fantasies, right? Right. You don't right, really yeah. do that. You you kind of have to go with like that. Well, I, you know, you want to be that the squinty eyed standing against the sunset quick draw killer. If you were to go back and give like, you know, I, I don't know how old I was, like, say, 12 year old me. Like, as soon as I finish Grand Theft Auto. Wow. <laughs> Grand Theft Waffles 1. Grand Theft Waffle? <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 1. Sorry. All right. Grand Theft Waffles are. <laughs> a whole nother matter. Um, if you were to give a, the eight-year-old me a copy of it right after I played the first one, my years, I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, went back four years in time on the second go around. <laughs> uh, if you were, if you were to give ten-year-old me, we'll settle in the middle. A copy of this game, spit it out. I don't know. I don't know what would happen, mate. I'm so lost in this. Point. <laughs> I'm a little rusty. I'll give you that. No. All right. I'm gonna try it one last time. Okay. This is if you give me a copy of it after I played one when I was 10, I would have shit myself because I'd be like, you know, it, I, I'm not having fun anymore. Like, it's got too dark and real and serious and, mm -hmm. dry, you know, just totally. Oh, or, fuck all. Or, you know, it, it, if that was like the first, if that's how Grand Theft Auto established itself, uh, that'd be fine. So I, I, I imagine a lot of the people who start with like San Andreas and all, or four or five. Good I'm sure point. they're having a great time and thinking it's like amazing and I, they're great games. They're good games. They're just, I unfortunately spent so much time establishing Grand Theft Auto to myself personally as being that uh, freewheeling, uh, fun, light, but highly sociopathic game in <laughs> which you can just uh, casually murder everyone. And that's kind of how it was established for me. And that's kind of like the standard that I hold it to. And that's what kind of makes it fun for me. So very well, possibly if I had started with Grand Theft Auto 4 and onwards, maybe San Andreas, except that's just so, I, I don't know. I just, I just, can't <laughs> play, I just can't play San Andreas just because it's so boring to me doing daily chores and tasks all the time. Uh, I, yeah. yeah, and you know, they even retain a lot of that in five. I haven't played six very much. Uh, five was just sort of like always answering your cell phone because somebody keeps wanting you to bowl with them. And it's like, <laughs> and you know, sure, okay, this would be a great game. That was if that's if that's what I expected out of Grand Theft Auto. But since I don't expect that, because it started out with such a, um, with that playful, quirky tone, it, it's not the game that I want. 
Yeah, exactly. So we got to customize to a certain angle from them, and it got changed. But if you started there, I get it. I could see why you'd like it mm-hmm. for for sure. But yeah, ultimately, if you're playing a game that's telling you, or, or, or put it this way, like I don't want to be reminded during a game that that I've got chores I should be doing <laughs> yeah. instead of playing this game. Like it's not cool. I didn't buy this game to sit around and do some fake AI guys chores, mate. I got shit I got to do, and you're reminding me of it, and it's a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> It's like when I played um, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and it's like I keep going to the gym every day. I'm like, but I don't actually go to the gym every day. Maybe I should go to the gym every day. <laughs> yeah. Not, yeah, not only don't I, but I could be doing that right now instead. Yeah. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put down the game <laughs> and start bettering myself. So good job, San Andreas. You made me better yeah, yeah, exactly. myself. <laughs> yeah, thanks. That last mission reminded me <laughs> that my bank closes in an hour, and i got to go now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but, and, you know, I actually mentioned earlier on, um, about how police quest would have been pretty cool if they took the driving sections from Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Uh, and I think I still stand by that to a degree. I, I, know they, I know they couldn't do that. I know they couldn't do that at the time. And, uh, even when they came with the VGA, I don't know how they keep, thought that was a good idea for the way they did the handle the driving in there. It was like police quest three where he's sort of like you choose which turns to take and maybe you'll take them. And if you miss your stop, you're kind of screwed. You have to drive around the entire city to get back to where you were. And I just think the Grand Theft Auto format would have just been like, hey, you have the ability to drive as you need. It'll be really difficult because it's really hard not to crash into things and they'll kill you as many times as they, to, to satiate the Sierra bloodlust. <laughs> and, um, and it'll turn like, It'll make a little bit more of a game of like chasing down people you need to pull over and give tickets or arrest. Right. Yeah. It seems monotonous at that point. It's funny. Out of Police Quest 1, Police Quest 1 VGA, Police Quest 2, and Police Quest 3, that's four games. They only got driving right in one of them, and that's two. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I, that's to strengthen your point, mate, is that they really could have used some invention in any of the games. And, and like you said, I love that Sierra's bloodlust. Uh, <laughs> they, they require you to take a child's head and roll it down a pyramid and sacrifice. Um, so, so that being said, probably like a fender bender would be you just done a death. Yeah. What? You died. Whatever. You know me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you still got to like have your you still have to let your character in a top down screen. You got to make him walk around the car entirely. <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> that should be in all video games. There's a homage to 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 Sierra. It should be like a skill set level, like easy, medium, or Sierra. It <laughs> should be the gold standard. Are they going to say every single game with cars you have to walk around them and check your tires? <laughs> <laughs> it's That'd like, be fun in a racing game, right when the lights go off. Ready, set, go. I was just going to say, like, you're going to play like um, Burnout, and you have to check your tires to make sure they don't <laughs> flatten. <laughs> get like benny hill music on for it that'd be great <laughs> well one thing i'm surprised about uh with grand theft auto one that's gonna sound like an edit it wasn't i just randomly jumped way back uh to that <laughs> uh <laughs> it's the like, rockstar really didn't capitalize on the whole retro throwback of the of the last few years you know i would have expected them to to try and um Mm. capitalize on the first, on Grand Theft Auto 1 because it's it's like that hybrid of, of 3D and, and pixel art. Um, I think like the buildings are 3D and then the rest. Are, I know when you shoot the gun, it's still pixels. I'll put it that way. But anyway, yeah. uh, like I guess what I'm really trying to say is I'll just get to it. It should be on like the mobile. It should be a, like an app. Sure. I think it, yeah. I think it'd be a great game uh, to, to be on an app. <laughs> 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 no room for follow-up, just a blank statement. Yeah. <laughs> See what that creates, everyone? <laughs> Comes to a halt. You can't just say things. <laughs> Dead end. Dead end. <laughs> All right. Back it up a bit now. So, <laughs> back when you were eight and you were playing Grand Theft Auto. Uh, so, actually, how old were you when you played Grand Theft Auto 1? Was that, um, uh, I guess you were probably around 12? I guess so, right? Yeah, Cause okay. Of, because of math and adding and subtracting, I would come out to write about then. Yeah, like it, I, it was probably like the last game that I um, like ran home to play that I remember. So life oh. must have gotten my life must have gotten real after that. <laughs> Did you steal cars and drive them home to uh, play it faster? Did you drive unrelated. on the sidewalks to unrelated? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think there's really any games I can think of that were really like that before. Uh, Grand Theft Auto came out, was there? I mean, like, 
um, like I said, the closest I can really come to is Syndicate, just because you do have characters that you can tell to shoot civilians, and that's like the best I can do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, it's true because driving was was always, especially like on the road, it was always just racing games. Like I never mm-hmm. really, maybe besides Police Quest, you know, and, and I guess military things aside too, like tanks and all that. But like besides like Police Quest and I'm sure a few others, I remember like driving in games. It was either, you know, you bought a racing game or you didn't. So that was kind of something cool, I feel like. It was like being able to control a vehicle in an open world for the mm-hmm. first time. Uh, I'm pretty sure. All right. Got a passable point. <laughs> Because like I said, I don't, I can't think of anything. Like even right. Syndicate was like, uh, uh, and we'll do a whole other episode on Syndicate. I'll stop mentioning it here so much, but <laughs> uh, so in game that really kind of gave you like the freedom to do whatever you want, like just sort of go into a city. Uh, here's all the people in an objective and get to it. Do whatever you like. It doesn't matter. Just as long as you get the one thing accomplished. <laughs> I was actually. Oh yeah, no, sorry. I, I don't want to. I, I I don't want to tempt myself into getting too much into syndicate stories because we we I, we do need to do an episode on that entirely, um, but yeah uh, I I I think like there's some parts like the driving I can maybe think back to on like <sighs> APB maybe like th- there's not really games to compare it to, uh, considering how much games not not so much grand theft auto one but just grand theft auto in general how much games are really influenced by that series today uh right yes that's that's a really good point too you're right yeah it's really strange uh, with the amount of realism th- there's very little games that require you to get in a car which and do things which is what we all do all the time except for grand theft auto and and uh you know, a couple others like the what was the one you were mentioning saints row that's it. saints row i mean basically games that are trying to sell themselves on being grand theft auto but right, right? yeah so, it's still you know, still stuck in that circle yeah yeah so you got like crackdown which was grand theft auto but superheroes and then you have like saints row 4 which was grand theft auto but superheroes <laughs> and um, <laughs> but the uh, sorry i was just uh going for a cheap laugh there but i think a lot of it too is um i, I think the atmosphere is just too bleak in the later Grand Theft Auto games. I think the reason why Vice City is probably my favorite, along with maybe Grand Theft Auto 1 uh, in the context of its time, is that they're, they're so... They are also bright and colorful. Like, I'm not saying like they ha- everything has to be like, you know, rainbows and hummingbirds flying by, but I just mean like, you know, it's got like, it's got colors to it. Whereas, you know, uh, later games, it's also like brown and gray. And it's sort of like, oh, I just feel tired just playing all this stuff, right? <laughs> and even Saints Row 4, I still think it's a really good game. But if I recall correctly, the entire game takes place at night. So you never really get out of nighttime. Oh, um, that's annoying. Yeah, because there's like, it's a science fiction thing. So for some reason, it's like the city's always at night. And it's like, ah, oh, but I don't know. I just liked when things were kind of bright once in a while i don't know I, I can't i can't explain it in any way that makes me sound good but no i get it though i agree yeah. it's like visually fatiguing after a while like, yeah I, exactly I, that's a really good way to put it I'm, no, I'm never quite sure if my tv settings are correct i'm like can no one else see nothing like this really so frustrating panicky i can't see anything that's a design choice yeah. you're not supposed to see anything it's an innovation <laughs> all right <fuck. laughs> but no you, you do bring up a good point that i feel like the market is for not for not having more um games not like grand theft auto but but games that utilize like you know just using a vehicle let's just start there start like, there, yeah. like a, and i mean like a normal vehicle no spaceships no tanks all right take it easy we're used to that but, but just, you know, in, in, implement into like a daily life like hey i'm a human on earth right now i need a car and then that's why the game's got one. Yeah. And then you use it for stuff that's not Grand Theft Auto stuff. So get on that. <laughs> no, because you said... <laughs> I know that's, that wasn't a strong argument. I'm aware of that. So I'm going to try and um, just make a few notes. You'd, you'd mentioned that there's, there's Grand Theft Auto and there's Grand Theft Auto for uh, superheroes and then Grand Theft Auto for superheroes. So, I mean, let's try Grand Theft Auto with not a superhero, but something else. Cowboys? And then we got... Shit. That's brilliant, really <laughs> Damn it. Call, call me crazy. That's going to make 800 million at least. <laughs> Probably. There, I think there might be a market for that. 
Um, Grand Theft Auto, but I don't know. Uh, actually, Saints Row covered some of the quite a few of the bases because they did like sci-fi um, along with the superheroes. <laughs> they um, uh, Grand Theft Auto, but you're a marine biologist. I don't know. <laughs> 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 how, how many different things can you do with i don't know yeah it was one of the plot. unlockable you know characters that you could play so you get a scope of things like now i'm a lamppost in <laughs> grand theft auto for a few chapters um i grand guess theft auto but try. mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah mortal Kombat, but police quest there's a game oh <laughs> yes well, there is a police officer in Mortal Kombat. He's just like a guy with a gun. Looks like <laughs> a male stripper. They just let they just <laughs> let him into the tournament with a gun. They're like, okay, well, everyone else has swords, so he go ahead. Uh, <laughs> Represents the average Joe. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I, I I don't know anything about the game um, Hotline Miami. I I know that it exists and it looks very in the style of Grand Theft Auto One. So, See, that's funny, because that one gives me... Uh, no, don't. Wrong game. Oh, okay. so, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so I get the feeling there's probably going to be people who, like, write to me and say, like, well, there's there's Hotline Miami. That's kind of like Grand Theft Auto 1. Okay, that's cool. I, I Maybe it is, and I do definitely want to play that game, because it's uh, it looks really fun. It is never, it's on the list, that bottomless list that I just never get around to. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully that... I, I really hope that that really captures the the grand theft auto one kind of um feeling and the play and the you know fun but i just can't comment on it right now because i haven't actually really given it a go i forgot that i even had that or it existed till now i'm glad you said it mm -hmm. i think i own it somewhere in my 300 games that i own but never played yeah games is hard yeah <laughs> <laughs> All right, so any final thoughts on Grand Theft Auto 1? Um, oh, that's right. It's, yes, Grand Theft Auto 1 was a game. And um, mm -hmm. you should know about it. And now you do, actually. And only <laughs> in that game can you do a murder. Nowhere else. What about you? You got any, any final thoughts? Uh, not particularly. I think we kind of covered it. I think that, um, yeah, I just... <laughs> It'd be nice if Grand Theft Auto could get back to capturing some of its old glory, but I don't know. I th I also get the feeling that maybe so much of their audience now, pretty soon there will be more games that are Grand Theft Auto the way I don't like it than the way that I did. So pretty soon I can't really say, oh, it's not like Grand Theft Auto to me anymore. Pretty soon that's going to be Grand Theft Auto, and the games that I liked aren't what great Grand Theft Auto is. If, if that makes sense, it's yeah. like. It's getting to the point where the majority... So I think their fan base is so ingrained into what Grand Theft Auto is now that they're just not going to change. It would probably even be stupid to change at this point. Too much of their fan base is very strongly into what they're doing now and probably far more so than uh, Grand Theft Auto 1, 3, Vice City. I haven't played 2, as I've already mentioned. So... It's just, I guess, the only thing I can really do to capture some of that feeling is to play things like Saints Row, play uh, hopefully Hotline Miami scratches that itch. But uh, yeah, I, I'm going to say that it's probably not something I can ever hope for unless they do like a full on, um, what you call it, do a full on like a retro style uh, throwback game where they go back to being like some of the more of the style of the earlier games. And it's also available as an app on a mobile. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's important. No, well, that's I, like... I, I agree. People should, you know, if, if they're going to stay on the more serious, like what they are now level, which like you just po pointed out, they probably definitely will and kind of have to, then somebody should go back to like, like era of like the third or fourth or the Vice City game and, um, mm -hmm. and, and do a different angle, you know, it's sort of a rip off, maybe like your police this time. Yeah. Actually, it'll be, you know, that'd, be, whole, that'd be interesting. Yeah, that'd right? be cool. the whole the whole platform would actually serve well as like a modern police quest. Like, what what if they were actually some somehow making police quest games today? What would they look like? And I'd I'd probably guess Grand Theft Auto. I think that'd be pretty good. I I would support right? that. Yeah. As, well, actually, in this case, as long as it's like the newer games, in the sense that there's so many missions, because you'd have to have a lot of out of the car time. Mm -hmm. I think. 
Yeah. And then, and then you get people like us who are sort of like, oh, well, that shouldn't be called Police Quest because that's so different. <laughs> but, uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> that's like, yeah. that's a great game. It's something else. Don't call it Police Quest. Yeah. So, <laughs> and then when it's not named it to remind everyone all the time. Yeah. Of how it like, should this be. is basically Police Quest. Why didn't yeah. you just call it that? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Just be honest about the fact that you're... T- <laughs> about you're you're ripping off police quest but um but yeah i guess uh i don't know i guess that's pretty much all i have to say about it so i guess uh moving forward uh for grand theft auto it's like do more murders don't do a chore yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly don't do chores people <laughs> before you know it, you'll have a, a habit of it Ugh. <laughs>